Hey guys, Jeff and Anthony here. We're covering packs over on Anthony's channel. We had this awesome interview with Lee Petty, the lead designer on Headlander, the new Double Fine game that's being published by Adult Swim. So crazy amazing looking. It is crazy amazing looking, it, looking specifically because it's got this crazy 70s aesthetic that I think we both really responded to. Yeah, very, uh, very Logan's Run, yeah. very uh, kind of Omega Man, like it's all It's nothing you've really ever seen, I think, in a video game before. Not, it, so specific to that kind of time period when science fiction was uh, kind of absorbed in this weird, very specific take on what might happen with robots in the yeah. future. I mean, this is very dystopian in the sense that no humans are left, yeah. but it's like still kind of fun and silly. We talk a lot to Lee about aesthetic yeah. uh, over over on my channel, but we were led through a large chunk of gameplay, and I wanted, we didn't get to talk to Lee as much about systems as I wanted to, because there was a lot of interesting mechanic stuff going on in yeah. Headlander. Yeah, so you're, you're a disembodied head, you're the last organic being left on the planet, All it's all robots now, and all you are is a head, so you can't talk because you have no lungs, mm -hmm. and you can't move, but you can fly your head around, it has like a little jet propulsion system, you can fly your head around, and then dock it with various things. You can, <laughs> you can dock it into systems in the environment, but you can also dock it onto robot bodies, mm -hmm. be they humanoid or otherwise. There's little robot little robot dogs yeah. you can dock to. You pop the heads off things and dock your head onto it and then you get the properties of that yeah. body. And the gameplay is like a like a Metroidvania style game. So you're trying to get to the top of this space station and different heads that you or different bodies that you will take over have different levels of security clearance that you need to get through doors and it's right. all based on a color system. Uh, and those Colors with higher level security also have higher level weaponry. And what I thought was really interesting is the way higher level weaponry is presented in this game. Yes. Uh, because it's all based on how many times a laser can ricochet shows you how powerful the laser is. Yeah, when you get into these shooting segments, there there is it's still 2D, but there is some depth to the environment where you can get behind cover. And, and then your little reticle comes up, and it shows you the amount of bounce that the laser is going to have through the environment so you can sort of plan your shot to try to just hit a headshot, knock the head off a robot, and then be able to dock your head onto that yeah. body. And it's really fascinating the things that you can do when you mix up the ricochet and the head docking because you can start running forward in a body yeah. and undock and if that body gets hit, it will explode. Yeah, and it will every make, body explodes. Yeah. So no and it matter will make, what. It will make every body in the room explode along with it. Yeah. So it's like, do I want to run a gun and clear out this room? Is there a body that I need strategically for uh, for getting to the next next part of the level? Like, what do I need to do in this room? And there are multiple ways to conquer every room, which I yeah. thought was very, very clever. Yeah, and you, you become both more powerful and less powerful when you're just ahead. Mm -hmm. So there's some strategy in just being ahead. You have power-ups that you can earn through the game that let you change properties of the head. We saw a vacuuming system where you can suck things off of, uh, you know, suck the heads off of robots, but also this cool, like, Every time he said suck, every time he said suck off or suck it off, we both got this look in our eyes that were just like, you gotta come up with another term. <laughs> or you're doing it on purpose. And he might have been doing it on purpose well, because some of these... game, maybe. Some of those areas in the game were called things like boob tubery or yeah. the fondlery. It's all very, like, 70s fear of sex. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, but we also saw this cool power up where you get a this crystalline reflective shield that you can rotate around your your floating head. So you are required to uh, you know have lasers bounce off of you and ricochet them to beat puzzles to get out of rooms. Mm -hmm. All kinds of really cool stuff. And it's all very clever. They're still balancing it out, but with that ricochet shield. It can only take so many hits before yeah. it dissipates, so you can't just go running through a room and make yourself invincible and spin your shield around. It, it, it's so thoughtful on so many levels. And so unique and so different. I think this is another example of Double Fine putting out a game that is unlike anything else out there. Mm -hmm. It has its own voice, it has its own aesthetic, it, has, it looks and feels different and also plays different. 
for me, it's one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. Absolutely, and that's, uh, they don't have a firm release date yet. They know it'll be on PC and consoles, and it's coming in 2016. 2016 at some point, yeah. So that's... Again, it's called Headlander mm -hmm. from Double Fine. Yep, and we've got, uh, if you want to know more about the aesthetic and stuff, we have uh, an interview with Lee Petty, the designer. He also worked on stacking uh, over on my channel. It's youtube.com slash acarboni, and we got more pack stuff here over the next few days. We got so many things going on, so be sure yeah. to subscribe to both channels. See you later. You know, it's like another one of those headlanding games. Oh, right, another right. headlanding game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Docking was, into bodies. At first, it was Infinite Runners, and those were super huge. <laughs> yeah. It's been like three years of nothing but headlanding games. It's true.